What is up, turtles? It's Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. And as the video title suggests, Stoney and I are up at our mountain camp and we're gonna be spending the night. I'm not sure exactly what this video is going to look like or what we're going to do, but you're invited along for the journey. Mmm, what's that? That's the best sandwich slash lunch for the outdoors. It's shining in the light. Let's keep you in the light. You look good in there. Okay, so, best sandwich ever. Yeah, I already ate some of it. Because I wanted to share with you the sandwich. And yes, these containers are ridiculously nice for handy. For taking lunches or anything out into the woods. Here we go. Peanut butter and jelly. But, with a kicker, might not be able to see it. That does not look appetizing at all. <laughs> As I'm looking at it, but peanut butter and jelly plus cinnamon best sandwich ever mm. just finished that sandwich what's your favorite sandwich being in the east coast delis sandwiches it's a part of life around here hoagies sub shops what's your favorite sandwich we were up here a couple weeks ago and found something really cool in the shed slash workshop that i want to show you but i gave stoney the camera right now i woke him up from his uh his siesta in the hammock because it'd just be a little bit easier if he's holding the camera for me to get inside the shed and show you what I'm pretty excited to show you. Well, you want to take a look around? <laughs> Coming in old sheds? That, where'd that big spider go? Oh man, shook her or him too. Come on down to the workbench. I want to show this vise. It's all right, it's a little dark in here. The camera has trouble picking that up, so get out my cell phone and put a light on it. Look how cool this little vise is. It's small too. Clamp on uh, the end of the workbench. What's it say on that side? And then we'll get in the shadow. Littlestown, PA. So, how cool is that that it's made in the USA and made in Pennsylvania? Something in Foy, looks like. Can't quite can't quite make it out in this light, but uh, I know there's some some tool guys watching this or ladies. You ever heard of this company? Or how old do you think this is too? I think I might take it home with me and use it. There's something really cool hanging on the wall that I found last time that I want to show as well. Behind this rusty old buck saw. Take a look at that. Look at that cool double bit axe. Last time I was here, I tried looking for a maker's mark and I couldn't find any. I don't know much about axes and I know there are people watching. And without a maker's mark, it'd be hard to tell. Let me get my hand up there, I might blow it out, but for size reference, I got my, about medium size hands. I don't know, same thing, maybe eight inches across maybe? Yeah, probably a little longer. Yeah, maybe a little longer. Closer to 10 probably. I mean, the handle's not that long on it either, you know, it's a smaller axe. Really cool. I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe one day I'll take it back and uh, take it home. Maybe try to restore it. Put a new handle on it. Straight handle, you know, double bit style. Still red paint on it. It's cool. Let me know if you have any guesses. How old? I don't know. Pretty cool finds in there, right? Yeah, I think so too. Maybe you didn't say that, but. I do want to address a couple comments that came through recently on our last couple of videos. Most of you know I work with leather and I'm a leather worker. Maybe a month or so ago, two months, I started experimenting with making leather skateboard wheels just for fun. And I ended up making four of them and sent them to Braille Skateboarding. And they actually put the video up on their YouTube channel. They have a YouTube channel, it's a really big YouTube 
channel. Yeah, I have a lot of interests and a lot of things I like to do. I like skateboarding, I like parkour, I like playing sports, don't really like watching sports. Do you believe me? All right, well, before the sun goes down, let me show you what I will be sleeping in tonight. These are my sleeping quarters. Snug pack, under quilt, my hammock. See, I'm a cool guy. I sleep in a hammock. So we're nearing towards the end of September, and actually today is the solstice. But the bugs have been relentless today. Equinox. I don't know why I keep saying that. Those words don't mean as much to me. It's more about the events that are taking place. And that's just an excuse because I'm forgetful. There's those little fairies flying around. You can see the sun's going down. Look at that light being casted. And it's time to eat. So Stoney's over by the fire ring, working on a fire. And uh, it's time to get supper going. Oh. Buggies are bad. Stoney's over here working. With these weak feather sticks. It's alright, I'm still going live though. So if you watched our mountain camp video, restoration project videos, got a bunch of little roots that are now lying around here that have been snipped, making great bird's nest. Yeah, he's using a loiter. Lazy man. I like how white you are. Got that Victorian era Ducas Duchess skin tone. Got a little bug fire, if anything. Sounds like it's working. Oops. That's two lazy fires today. That's gotta be a record somewhere. We got pretty light on the shed we visited earlier in the video. And Stoney over here complaining about something again. What are you trying to do? Oh, I think he says he's gonna grab his camera and go. Unidentified male slowly walks his way, two clicks above slow actually, to the shed. What is he doing you ask? Hard to say without saying. Check out the ingredients for supper. We're finally at that point. There's some bell peppers in. Caritos. How dumb is it? 1824. Sun's already behind the mountains in this holler. We're right on the edge of the holler, so, you know, it's always darker here. You can see the sun on the other side of the mountain. Kind of. Kind of. Kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just f***ing <laughs> stop. Hmm. Dinner's about to be served. Worked pretty well, propping that pot up between these two rocks. Mmm. We're gonna use any of this audio, you better quiet down chewing so loud. Mmm. Well, it's about ends the food segment, because this is gross. And action. Well, we had some supper. We shared a meal. Came out all right. Definitely need more flavor. There's Stoney. Tending the fire. Milky Way's out real bright tonight. Isn't that right, Stoney? Yeah. Hmm. Real bright. Man of many words. Probably hanging around here till, uh, till time to saw some wood. Shut eye. A little shut eye.
little slumber bum. It's all in hay. Let me see some performance dancing. Sun comes up about ten in the morning. Well, good morning. It was another successful night. Another successful night sleeping outside and it got pretty cold. So I slept with the under quilt that you saw and I used that down throw that I got from Costco just over top of me. And I was pretty darn warm all night. My feet got a little bit cold, but I think it's just because I was laying all goofy and didn't have my feet covered up. So let me know what you thought about this video, if you like this style. It was a pretty fun night for us, just hanging out by the fire, listening to the sounds of the forest. That's what I love about sleeping outside. You know, waking up at two in the morning, hearing the owls over in this hollow, these great, the great horned owls, great horned owls being all loud. I, I, I really love it. So as always, thank you for watching. Thanks for your, your support. Thanks to our patrons. But I think it's time to end the video.